Hey guys, welcome to the part two of the lovely crochet puff dress. I kind of have a tutorial of the top bit, but I will go through it with you just in case you haven't seen that video. But if you want clear instructions, I advise you check out my previous video, my first video actually. So for the top bit, we are going to be lining that top bit just before we really go into the puff bit. So what you want to do is just attach your yarn as normal. And then to line the top bit, what we what we would be doing, what we will be doing is putting one single crochet in every half double crochet space and two single crochets in every double crochet space and that's what we're going to be doing until the end of the row so just insert your hook and go straight into putting one single crochet in every half double crochet space and two single crochets in every double crochet space that and so once you finished I just decided to do a row of single crochets just to make it look a bit neat and I thought it would be so much easier when doing the puff bit of the dress so yeah just go ahead and single crochet and then we are going to go straight into creating that puff bit that makes the dress look so cool um, yeah so we want to insert a hook and we will be chaining 16 and in that 16, we will be going back using half double crochets. So we are just going to be using half double crochets for the top bit of the dress. So you want to go back using half double crochet. So once you get to that end, we are going to be slip stitching in the next stitch. So if you do want your crochet puff bit to be very puffy, we are just going to be slip stitching in the next stitch. If you want it to be less puffy, you slip in, you slip stitch into the next stitch and the next stitch. Chain one and just keep half double crocheting as normal. Please, if you don't find this clear, just check out my first video. I do explain how to do the puff bit perfectly.
okay so once you're finished you should have something like this depending on how puffy you made the top bit so all we're doing right now is we are just going to go ahead and chain a very long chain um, which will be going through the spaces and that would serve as our halter neck tie thing <laughs> but yeah you get what I mean so we're just going to be inserting that into the spaces and yeah once you are finished I'll show you what it looks like and that's literally your dress So that's what it looks like once you've inserted your chain into the spaces and all you need to do now is just go ahead and weave in your work in, on the other side of the dress and put your dress on and take loads of photos and just tag me on Instagram and made by MDF because I do want to see you guys try this dress because it's just so beautiful and yeah I hope you love this tutorial if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys i really do appreciate it bye